In this video, I wanted to share a pretty quick tip when it comes to planning your inshore fishing trip, either in the summertime or even through the fall, depending on how warm the water is or how, how hot the air temperatures are. And what it really comes down to is paying attention to what's going on with the weather the night before your trip particularly during the nighttime because you know there's no sunlight so if you have wind hitting a certain area or you have a rainfall over an area that you plan to fish that's definitely going to help the bite in the morning because it's going to help cool the water temperatures down more than an area that's not getting hit by the wind or doesn't have you know extra rainfall and runoff so for example let's say i'm planning a trip for the following day what i want to do is before I go to bed check the weather see what the weather's doing in the area that I plan to fish or find an area that's getting hit by rain overnight or that is getting hit by the wind overnight in the summertime in particular because in the summertime you want to be fishing areas that are getting hit by the wind especially if the winds hitting it overnight because it's going to help aerate that area it's going to help push more bait into that area so overnight the wind can be doing one thing and then you know during the day the the following day the wind may switch directions and that may alter your game plan uh, if you don't think about it so using the map here let's say we're fishing near let's go down by melbourne let's say you check the weather you know right before you go to bed you see a big blob of storms over this area and the wind let's say it's blowing from the west and it's blowing into the shoreline that would be an area I would want to check out in the morning as opposed to let's say up here where there were no storms and the wind was blowing again the same direction from uh, the west into the east shoreline this shoreline would be wind protected all morning you know it didn't get any rainfall as opposed to this shoreline that may have gotten you know a nice downpour uh, rain that's going to cool off the surface of the water and also the wind that's going to be pushing bait and everything onto the shoreline so again just pay attention to what the weather is doing the night before your trip especially in the summertime and the same thing can be applied in the winter time except it's the opposite you want to look for shorelines that are not getting hit by the wind in the winter time so overnight especially overnight you know there's no sunlight nothing to help warm up that water overnight in the winter time so if the wind is pushing into a shoreline in the winter time it's going to turn up that water the air is going to mix with the water the temperature uh, as far as the temperature goes and that area that's getting hit by the wind is going to be pretty chilly as opposed to an area that is nice slick and calm and really can't cool down as much as an area that's getting hit by the wind so again summertime check to see what's going on overnight you want to fish areas that have possibly been getting you know rained on or hit by the wind overnight in the summertime and then in the winter times just the opposite you want to find areas that are protected by the wind overnight and also didn't get any rainfall overnight so definitely keep these tips in mind when you are pre-planning your trip whether it be in the summertime or in the winter time if you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong and where the line today